Today is going to be a Mr. D attempt, another go at Mr. D, the, the thermal cooker, and I'm going to try wholemeal bread, uh, but only using wholemeal flour. The actual recipe I, was, I saw for Mr. D is to use three quarters of a cup of wholemeal uh, and three quarters of a cup of firm of plain. I haven't got plain, so it's all wholemeal. Right, so this is one cup, because obviously two three quarter cups is one and a half. That's in there. Now six, six grams of yeast is in fact two teaspoons, level teaspoons. I know that because I've just measured them all out. Okay. And um, I've got to mix it all in and uh, I'll show There's you. There's a, a teaspoon of brown sugar. And now I've got to add the, um, Sunflower oil, should be vegetable oil in the recipe. Half a teaspoon, and I'm going to use a measure to right. do that. There's the flour, 140 um, mils of warm water. And now I've got to mix it. much this so it's gonna be not be a very big bit of bread but it's of kneading until it's elastic and now I've got a damp cloth courtesy of Cornelia and um, that gets covered at the top and it's got to be put somewhere where it's uh, warmish near the radiator that's the bread now after about half an hour or so um, having risen uh, and there's the Mr. D cake thing which because I've got the bread one I've got the cake one and so I'm now going to put it in there. And after that, I've got to put it in the Mr. D. And I'll go over here. Here's the Mr. D. Uh, well, it's not it's the, the inner pot. Um, there's a trivet, which has got to go now. I've just got it heating up on the, on the pan at the moment. I put a little bit of water at the bottom so it doesn't do any damage. Uh, and it's got to go in there in due course. Anyway, so what I've got to do now is to um, take that turn it over, put it into there, and knead it to shape. The, the um, bread, or the dough, with, with sesame seeds sprinkled on top. I'm now gonna put it into the trivet and put boiling water around the outside and bring it to boil. The lid I'll put on there afterwards. I can clip it on, but I'm bit, I've never done it with the bread before and I don't know how far it's gonna rise, so I'm gonna leave it off. Well, see I decided that. to put the lid on because um, it can't get in there very easily with it it's off. Been longer because I've been doing other things. But you, you bring it to boil and then simmer it for 30 minutes with the recipe, but I've done it far, far longer because I've been doing other stuff. I'm now going to take it over. I'm going to ask Corey to put it for me, to pick that up for me and put it in the, to put it in the Mr. D. It's got to be gently put in. Okay, and bring the lid down. And that's it sealed. And um, I think it does let a little bit of air in. And that's why this strap's useful. And that's it now for at least four hours, I reckon. So we'll see what it looks like then. Well, this is the, uh, the, the bread for Mr. D. And I've got to say that the uh, water in which it was cooking the outer pan was um, was very hot so uh, but it's not a, it's not a hard loaf or well, it may it may cool off to that it's quite a soft loaf really but it's certainly bread <laughs> 